All right. I just took my stock injectors off of my fuel rail of my Fiero. I'm replacing them with an 88 or 89 F-150 out of a 5.8 liter 19 pound injectors. What we're going to do, we're replacing the O-rings on them before we put them back in. Should be a direct bolt up to the fuel rail and everything. So you're going to put it all back together and have me a little bit more fuel with my turbo. There she is. Two. Now just a couple more. I cleaned the fuel rail off. As best as I can get it. No one's going to see it in no ways. Alrighty. Make sure that little washer there is at the back, seated at the back. Don't have the O-ring like that. Make sure it's like that. Try not to break your little cap here. It's pretty tight. All right. All right. This step of reassembly, we're gonna take some petroleum jelly on top of the O-rings. Not too much, but just enough to help it slide into place and not get boogered up. I am not using these little clips back on it. The bolt should be sufficient enough to hold it in place. Make sure your injector electronics are pointed towards the outside as the wiring harness has to plug in and just give it the old wiggle and push. <laughs> Make sure she's seated in there straight. Should almost kind of snap in place. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Pretty easy. It's just reassembly. Like I said, these are 19 pounds out of the F-150. Did you hear it snap in? She's good to go, gentlemen. Not too much, because you don't want to kill them go by. I felt that one. Alright. That looks good, gentlemen. Time to put her on the vehicle. Lube up all these, and you're gonna see me it down. All right, I'm gonna lube up these O-rings as well now. Not too much, but good enough to make them slide. Yeah, it prevents dry rot. For all your lubing satisfaction needs, Equate Petroleum Jelly treats you right. Alrighty. Let's get this beast back down in the dirty engine. Try to clean off your intake manifold as well, the best you can, because there was a bunch of nasty stuff that was where the injectors were supposed to go. Come on, mate. Get your bloody down in there. All right. And then just make sure all your injectors are headed towards their rightful holes. Put that back in there for the time being. All right. She is all lined up, gentlemen. We are going to brought to you by Ogre Smash. Make sure they all seat down in there. Oh damn, I didn't start the video. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, see, we got a couple on the back back here being stubborn. Oh, your smash ain't working. Multiple. No. Probably needed more lube. <laughs> the front ones went in with ease. These back ones are being a pain. 
because I ain't at that direction popping them there right there. Okay. Let's uh it ain't oh, yeah, it's going. Let me go uh hit prime it and check for leaks. Make sure to watch for a leak, especially if you're gonna put clips on it. Don't trust We've already checked for leaks, there ain't none. Anything? No. Let me do it one more time. No, there might be a little bit on this one. Which one? Now that I got the camera down in there, looking at, but it may be see. lube. Let on me this one. This one looks like it's lube. No, it's good. Man. We are gravy. Not really, we're human, but. All right, the rest of it is just plugging up the intake manifold. I blocked off the EGR plate as well while I got you here. Look what I used. Nickels, two nickels with black RTV sandwiched in there. Worked beautiful, beautiful. Fits just right. We cut the uh, steel brake line, not brake line, but EGR tube off of it. Just lined up, everything worked out good. So, put it back on, so. Should be ready to rock and roll. Well, that includes this segment.